We are going to be looking at a question from Daman High 2022. It is a complex number question. We are not supposed to be using our calculator in answering this question. We are given this complex number W. W is equal to 2 minus 3i. And in part A, we are to find W to the power of 3, which is equal to 2 minus 3i to the power of 3. Although we are not supposed to be making use of our calculator, we can still definitely press into our calculator to just do a quick check and verification about you know, what is the final answer if I were to do if I were to press in 2 minus 3i to the power of 3. So from the calculator, I can actually find out what is the result first, which is negative 46 minus 9i. So let's see whether we will be able to get this by you know, doing an expansion. And we will be doing a binomial expansion for this. Two terms to the power of 3, which will be 2 to the power of 3 plus 3 choose 1, binomial expansion. Then 2 to the power of 2, negative 3i. Then plus the next term will be 3 choose 2. Then 2 to the power of 1, negative 3i to the power of 2. And the final term is going to be negative 3i to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 3 is 8, plus 3 choose 1, this is 3, this is 4, and this will still be negative 3i. 3 choose 2 is 3, 2 will be 2. Negative 3 square is 9, and i square is negative 1. Then plus negative 3 to the power of 3 is negative 27, and we have an i to the power of 3, and that will be negative i. So let's evaluate this further. This will be 8, and this is negative 36i, and this will be negative 54, and we are ending this with a positive 27i, which means that w to the power of 3 is going to be equal to, if I were to evaluate this, this, it is negative 46, and this, this will give us a minus 9i, which was what we have already verified previously using our graphing calculator. Next. W is a root of the equation of a polynomial, a cubic polynomial, where the coefficients are real constants because the unknown coefficients here, A and B, are given to us as real. So this equation here, this polynomial here, because it has coefficients that are all real, so we will be expecting that if W is a root, then W conjugate will also be a root. And there is going to be a real root that is given to us by the question as alpha. We are supposed to, in B, find the values of a and b, the coefficients. So what I'm going to try to do is to make use of the fact that w is a root to this polynomial, to this equation. So it should satisfy the equation, which means that z can be replaced by w, and this is going to be equal to 0. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace all the z by w, where the first term will be z to the power of 3, so it will be 2 minus 3i to the power of 3 then minus 5z square. z square will be 2 minus 3i to the power of 2, and plus az, z is 2 minus 3i. And finally, we have the term that is independent of z, which is b, this is equal to 0. For this, we will definitely make use of the result that we have obtained from part a. So this will be negative 46 minus 9i, Minus 5, okay, too bad. Since we cannot make use of our graphing calculator, I am going to just uh, expand this manually again. That's not too difficult. It is going to be 2 to the power of 2 plus 2 times of 2 times negative 3i, then plus negative 3i square. Then plus this will be 2a minus 3ai plus b, this is equal to 0. It will be negative 46 minus 9i minus 5. This is 4. This is negative 12i. And here we have a negative 3 square, which is going to be 9. Then i square is going to be minus 1. So we have a negative 9 here. Negative 9 plus 2a minus 3ai plus b. This is equal to 0. What we're going to do next is to group all the real parts of the complex numbers together and all the imaginary parts of the complex numbers together. So grouping this, 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 and this, and this together, we are going to be getting a negative 21 plus 2a plus b 
plus i of grouping all the imaginary parts of the complex numbers together it will be this and this and this so grouping them together we are going to be getting a 51 minus 3a this is equal to 0 and we can definitely see 0 as 0 plus 0i which means that we can then match the real part of the complex number to the real part that is on the right hand side the imaginary part of the complex number to the imaginary part that is on the right hand side and i guess i'm going to match the imaginary part first because this is so easy for me to solve for a first right so it will be 51 minus 3a is equal to 0 this will help me to find the value of a which is equal to 17 then it will be negative 21 plus 2a plus b is equal to 0 so it's negative 21 plus 2a a is 17 plus b is equal to 0 this will give me the value of b b is equal to negative 13. let's take a look at part c so in part c we are looking at a new cubic polynomial with roots i w i w conjugate and i alpha and if you can just remember the roots that were given to me in the previous uh, poly polynomial in the previous polynomial we are given w is a root alpha is a root and because a and b are real numbers which we have found out in b also that a is equal to 17 and b is equal to negative 13 so since w is a root we are also going to be expecting w conjugate to be a root of this polynomial where the coefficients are all real so if you can just relate this the roots of this polynomial to the roots of this new polynomial you will realize that you know, they are actually related isn't it because w is the root of this polynomial i w okay so this w is this w w conjugate is a, a root of this polynomial and according to the question i w conjugate w conjugate which is the root of this polynomial appears here alpha is the root of this polynomial and i alpha is also going to be a root of the new polynomial so W, W conjugate alpha exists within the new polynomial's roots also. We are supposed to express this new polynomial in the form of a polynomial, a cubic polynomial, which is given to us um, by the question. So we are going to try to relate these two polynomials together, okay, since they, are, they share very, very similar looking roots. Let's take reference from the previous polynomial. So in part C, for the previous polynomial, we were having this z to the power of 3 minus 5z square plus az plus b is equal to 0 and we have already found out the values of a and b so i'm going to write them down also minus 5z square plus a a was found to be 17 17 z then b was found to be 13 so we have this and we are we also know that w is a root so by making use of the factor theorem z minus w is going to be a factor and w conjugate will also be a root of this since w is a complex number this polynomial here has all real coefficients so w conjugate will also be a root and as per given to us by the question alpha is also a root so minus alpha this is equal to zero let's do a quick check the coefficient of z to the power of three is one so this is z times z times z which will give us z to the power of three so we don't really need to put any more coefficients in front so this if it were to be factorized it is going to be of this form okay and, and our motivation of factorizing this is because we want to see the from the roots perspective okay because we are going to try to relate the new cubic polynomial to the roots of the previous polynomial so let me write down the new polynomial so the new polynomial it's going to be let's compare it to this okay so according to the question it's going to be having roots that are i w then i w conjugate and we have also a uh, i alpha so this since these are the roots that means this factor times this factor times this factor which is a cubic polynomial will be equal to zero so what we can see if I were to just compare this and this is that this is w but this is i times of w this is w conjugate this is i times of w conjugate this is alpha and this is i times of alpha so what I'm going to try to do is let's just try to factorize out i so I will have an 
i, then this will be z over i minus w. Okay, because I want this to look like this as much as possible. So it is w. I'm going to do the same thing for this. I'm going to factorize out i, which will give me a z over i minus w conjugate. Okay, now I have a w conjugate. Then I want it to be alpha here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to factorize out i. So we have a z over i minus alpha. This is equal to 0. In fact, we can get rid of this 3i. It is like i to the power of 3, which I can divide it across to the other side. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to be left with just uh, this minus w, z over i minus w conjugate, and z over i minus alpha is equal to 0 divided by i to the power of 3, because we divided i to the power of 3 on both left and right-hand side. So what is 0 divided by i to the power of 3? It is still going to be equal to 0. So we have this. And based on this and comparing to what we have previously, which is this, we can see that, hey, actually all the z here, in order for it to become something that is similar to this, all the z here will be replaced by this, zi. This gives us a hint of how this polynomial may look like if I were to make reference to the original polynomial, which is to replace all this z over here by z over i. So let's do that. Let's make use of this polynomial which we have already solved for a and b. Making use of this, replacing all the z here by zi, we will be getting a z over i to the power of 3. I'm making use of this polynomial, minus 5 times of z over i to the power of 2, plus 17 times of z over i, then minus 13. This is equal to 0. In fact, this is the new cubic polynomial that we are trying to form already. It is just that we need to change it into the form that is requested by the question. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to multiply left and right hand side by i to the power of 3. right? So because this has to become z to the power of 3. So multiplying by i to the power of 3, this will give me a z to the power of 3. Then minus 5, multiplying this by i to the power of 3, we will have a i squared multiplied by i to the power 3, it will be i. So 5i z, then this multiplying by i to the power 3, we have a plus 17 z times of i squared minus 13 of i to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. So my final answer will be z to the power 3 minus 5i, sorry, this is going to be z squared. So 5i z squared. Then this is going to be, i squared is negative 1. So it will be negative 17z. And here i to the power of 3 is negative i times negative 1. It will become positive i. Multiply by 13, it will be 13i. This is equal to 0.